Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Jerwin. This is Elma. And Chopel. We're two Asians and a dog. Most of our content so far has been how to be smart with your money and how to grow it, whether it's through real estate or through the stock market. Today's video is about what we splurge on. Yes, we are just like everyone else and we have things or items we spend our money on that we know we shouldn't, but we can't help it. We also go through the same inner struggle everyone else goes through regarding spending money or not to spend money. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. If you're new to our channel, we're two Asians and a dog, and our channel is about sharing our journey to reaching 8 12 2024, which is our retirement date. We will go over real estate investing, stock market investing financial education, and some of our travels. Mm -hmm. So make sure you stay tuned for our journey to 8 12 24. Also, don't forget to stay till the end for Show Pals Tip of the Week. Let's start with the most important thing we splurge on, Show Pal. Uh, just about everyone that knows us thinks Chopal is really spoiled. We beg to differ. We like to think that Chopal is very loved. She brings us a lot of joy and happiness and all we want for her is the same thing. One of the ways we show our appreciation to her is feeding her only the best food we can get a hold of. For example, there's this chicken treat she absolutely loves. The only ingredient is chicken, nothing else. There's no random ingredient that we can't pronounce. She literally goes crazy for this stuff and she loves it. We pay about $32 for a bag. Now, some may say it's expensive to pay for $32 for a bag of chicken that will only last two weeks. We look at it as we can easily spend $32 on one meal for ourselves so if you compare it to $32 for a couple weeks that's pretty good and we know she loves it and it's healthy for her some people won't hesitate to spend money for chips and junk food mm -hmm. our mindset is why not spend that money on your pet and your pet that brings your family so much joy and if you claim to love and care for your pets why not feed them what's actually good for them in hopes they live a longer and healthier life. Um, if you guys agree to our philosophy, please let us know. If there's any treats you guys recommend for Show Pao, please let us know in the comments below as well. Okay, so enough about Show Pao's food. Let's talk about human food. So early 2020 PC, pre-COVID times, we discovered HelloFresh. I'm sure you guys have heard of it, but if you haven't, it's a company that delivers easy to make meals to your front door. A little brown box shows up once a week with your chosen meals with all the ingredients included. Using the service, we've been able to try so many different recipes. Also ingredients we never considered pairing together, we paired together, and oh sorry, and just so many different varieties of yummy goodness. You get to choose which plan you want. We went with three meals a week for two. The recipes are so delicious, it's like eating meals that you would typically order at some fancy restaurant. By the way, if you guys are interested in trying out HelloFresh, we'll include a code link in the description. So when you sign up with the link, you get $40 off and we get a $20 credit. So it's a win-win. The reason we consider this a splurge is because the meals tend to be a bit pricey compared to buying our own groceries for the week. What we ended up doing is having HelloFresh three days a week for dinner and then having to go grocery shopping for the additional days. We would estimate that dinner for two with HelloFresh would be approximately $10 per meal for two. Of course, that depends on what meal it is. Compare that to how much we spend if we cook our regular non-fancy meals, mm -hmm. which is approximately $7 per meal for two. But I will say the biggest con for us with HelloFresh is that the meals is just enough for one meal mm -hmm. and there's usually no leftovers at all, which means we have to cook dinner every day. But now we, we got smarter and we now skip our delivery from time to time since each meal comes with a recipe card. And after we narrowed down which recipes we love best, we actually started buying the ingredients ourselves and Elma would just make the meals at home. So we think we found a way to, you know, like a way around it to save money and still try new recipes. Third thing on our list of things we splurge on is Elma's beauty products. Now, some of the products Elma buys is not just makeup. She also buys a lot of skincare products. She's really big on skincare and this is why she looks like she's 21, 22. <laughs> she's been using products to prevent and minimize sun damage. And I'm personally not gonna lie about it, but I've been more aware of taking care of my skin. Um, after fighting her for 
one or two years about you know taking care of my skin. It has now become part of my daily routine to make sure I put sunblock on my face every time I step out the front door. In my defense, I'm always thinking about ways to reduce the cost of skincare products. Even though I do splurge on beauty and skincare products, I use our credit card points we earn to purchase products. And I always make my purchases when Sephora does their sales. Using your credit card is not for everyone. We make sure our credit cards are paid off every week. Yes, every week, so we never ever have to pay interest. But doing this, we are able to rack up a lot of points, so what we do with these points is all up to me, which means I buy just about all of my products using all our points. only pay 10 to 15 percent out of pocket the rest is covered by our points okay but how much do you think you spend on an annual basis on your products I can easily spend $800 to $1,000 a year on skincare. I know it's crazy. Please don't judge me. Our last item we splurge on is family time. Elma, Shopao, and I will do our best to always be there for our family time. Whether it's for birthdays, holidays, special events, or just because it's a Friday, we will be there for our family. If any of our cousins or nieces or nephews want us to come over for any reason, we go. Factor in that most of our family is in Southern California and the Bay Area. That means either a four or an eight hour drive. But we're we're very fortunate and blessed to be to have a somewhat flexible schedule, so we hardly miss going to any family outings. Now you may ask why we think it's a splurge. Well, we think it's a splurge because we drop just about everything we're doing to go see them. We also tend to spend a lot more money when we're visiting. Jerwin and I always said that we wanted to be those cousins or aunt and uncles that are always around. Not just around for the big holidays, but just around all the time. We wanted to have a strong relationship with our younger family members. Now this could and probably have bitten us in the butt, in the butt already, but we tend to spoil our nieces and nephews. I think most of them already know that we would get them stuff because we want to see them happy. But also you have to remember that kids these days are very smart and could take advantage so be aware. We also have our boba time with our nieces and nephews. Once in a blue moon, they do actually treat us with our boba, but usually we treat them. This time with them allows us to catch up and really bond with them. These are amazing times since we get to know what's going on in their lives and we all just end up talking stories for hours. Again, we consider this a splurge because they say time is money. Now we know just about everyone has some kind of expensive hobby, whether it's collecting cars, handbags, shoes, buying the latest gadgets, or eating out at a fancy restaurant. To be completely honest with you guys, we have neither any, we don't have any of those. Um, the closest thing I would say is Alma really likes plants, so make sure you check out her, uh, her other YouTube channel, Lifestyle at a Glance. But other than that, we have no need to collect any material things. I would say most of our friends and family think our most expensive habit is buying houses. I mean, honestly, Monopoly was my favorite game growing up. We just like to play that in real life now. So we hope this video gives you guys an insight on our lives. We don't just save and hoard money. We actually enjoy spending it too. But we just choose to spend it wisely and on other people or pets. Uh, we feel that life is a balance, so as long as you have a well-balanced financial life, you can splurge on whatever you want. Thanks so much for uh, watching, guys. If you enjoyed watching this video, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos on personal finance, real estate, and stock market investing. Now it's time for Show Pals Tip of the Week. Show Pals Tip of the Week. It's okay to spend money as long as one, you have the money to spend. Number two, you contribute to savings account already and number three you spend your money on things that brings you happiness today and tomorrow